Hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm going to read a chapter called Escape. I'm just going to read one small passage, and uh, I'm going to later give my opinion on it. All right? Let me just... Okay, perfect. Listen to this one. We need space to escape in order to discern the essential few from the trivial many. Unfortunately, in our time-starved era, we don't get that space by default, only by design. One leader I worked with admitted to staying at a company five years too long. Why? Because he was so busy in the company, he didn't take time to decide whether he should be at the company. The demands of each day kept him from really stepping back to get a perspective. I just want to read that small part. It's, we always talk about, or at least I always talk about to myself, on having time to think. And when I have time to myself, I usually fill those voids with whatever I'm watching, whatever I'm doing, all of that. Of course, reading is excellent and it helps me think. It gives me ideas for me to think and reminisce on later. I need that later time. This is just one example. And I know many people are like this. They are working at a company, on a project, on, on anything. And they're so busy on this project, this work, this responsibility, that they don't have the time to really take a step back and ask themselves, is this worth it? What am I doing? What's the trade-off? Is this preventing me from doing things that I really want? And is, if so, is this actually worth it? That's another chapter. I'm not sure if I covered it last time. I'm pretty sure I did not. It's about trade-offs. Now, I'll talk about that later, but trade-offs are very important. There's a term in business called straddling, and it's basically keeping one method, keeping one strategy, your current strategy, while trying to implement an opponent's or an opposition company's, your, comp your, co your competitor's strategy as well. So doing th th two things at the same time. Doing two things at the same time just causes inevitable half-assing and inevitable failure at both. You just fail at both. You cannot do two strategies. You can do multiple things at the same time, but you can't do two visions, two strategies, two opposing things at the same time. You cannot. So you either go full heartedly to what is essential what's your core mission your core value as a business as a person as a mother as a father as a fireman as a business coder whatever you are do essentially what you want what is it that this is taking out of me which i'm trading off in this vehicle this opportunity this trade this whatever what is it that is taking out of me and what is it giving back to me What's the trade-off here? And you can't trade off two things that are asking the, for the same thing. If it's something about time, you cannot trade a 12-hour opportunity with another 12-hour opportunity. And if it's something opposing to like health, like let's say family and work, I'm working, I'm working because I want to take care of my family, but I also want to be super successful. Now, there's a certain vehicle, a certain job opportunity that'll make me become successful at the cost of me not being with my family for as much as I want to, not being in the moments that I want to. So now there's a limited belief. There's a, not limited, sorry. There's a um, contradicting belief. There's, there's contradicting, um, sorry, opposing, contradicting uh, wants, values. There's opposing, opposing needs and wants. Now what are you going to do then? You have to decide. Are you going to be a successful person? Or are you going to be a family person? You can be both. And be mediocre at both. Or you can be exceptional at one. Something like that. Obviously I'm not saying, you know. Obviously a good family man takes care of their partner and their children uh, financially. But every opportunity, they see it as, is this going to help 
through my main vision, which is family. Is this going to help me succeed and be with my family? This is the caveat. And if it's helped me succeed a thousand percent, but doesn't help me with my family, then it's not an opportunity that I'm going to take. That's the thing. It doesn't mean saying no to money. It just means saying no to money in ways that will affect what I really want, which is being with my family. That's just an example. And that is actually my case as well. Um, I hope this helps, helps me clear up all of this mess. And I do these videos for myself, I do these videos to talk to myself, be, be better, improve my dialect, my way of talking. I used to be more fidgety and now I've noticed that I'm getting better and better. And it's only one way I'm up. I already rich. <laughs> sorry. I already reached rock bottom. So I have gotten better and only getting better every day. And I hope this helps whoever is watching. I make this for myself, but if this advice, it's not even advice. If this information helps you in any other way, I hope, I hope you, you use it. Take care.